Hello, my loves, it's Kasha, Planarista 101. Today I am going to be doing a spread and my wild styled happy planner, and I am doing the currently page. I am using the Park Lane scrapbook paper from the Joanne collection. I think those are exclusive to Joanne. They have a scrapbook sheet with two, like a cluster of flowers that I truly truly love I thought that's truly truly beautiful and I couldn't wait to use it so there's it's a double-sided paper so on the other side it has the exact same design which I'm pretty lucky because then I can cut out the second flower like so and then use that as well So I'm not sure right now, as of yet, what I'm going to do with this. All I know is that I wanted to use those flowers. They're huge though. They're taking quite a bit of space. So I want to see what I can do to work this in. So I'm going to cut them into pieces. And see from there. That's still too much. I have so much going on this month that I need all of the room to write. So I'm going to cut the pink one out and see if that will fit on that side. I don't like how the blue looks on there, but I do li like how the pink looks up there with the pink and yellow and then bringing in the blue on the bottom. Okay, and really quickly while I am finagling with this, I wanted to say thank you to all of my subscribers and all of my followers. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. And I wanted to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm really, really excited you could be here for the planning journey together. And I wanted to encourage all of my visitors to subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me. So, I am going to make my own currently page. So I'm gonna put reading, which I'm reading the Cricut design space. I got a Cricut for Christmas and I never really did much with it. So I'm trying to learn. I am planning for a new job. While I'm watching the marvelous Miss Maisel. I think she is hilarious. I'm eating uh, my pretty much my pantry and freezer. I haven't been shopping as much. I'm eating home cooked meals that I make, and I've been making recipes as you guys see. And I take my own pictures and put them in the meals as well. I'm loving the days with my boyfriend and his nephew. His nephew is so cute and sweet. I truly, truly adore this little boy. I'm dreaming of vacation. I'm feeling, I'm starting to feel okay. Finally, after such a long time, I'm starting to feel okay. And I'm listening to mood uplifting music. Okay, so I'm just gonna white this focus on part and then see how I can arrange the flowers to make this the best spread possible. And I think the yellow will look just fine the way I placed it. There we go. 
and then the pink one even the cutout kind of fits the zero around so that's what i'm gonna do I'm cutting out the little mushroom punch out so I can place this into my planner and it's just a lot of page turning and scissor cutting and done. I'm going to cut off the excess to make this page as even as possible and then I need to figure out how to place the lower flowers to make it look the most appeasing possible or yes i think that's the way it should go and i'm actually going to use my zig pen and glue it down so none of the edges come up because i know in the past i had some issues with stuck paper here and there where it would lift up and i don't want that to happen and this cardstock is quite heavy, so I'm glad I'm only carrying one month at a time because I can tell you already that um, when I'm writing on the other side, this might be a little challenging. So I'm using my tweezers to place this because obviously there's glue everywhere and I think that's pretty great. And it's pretty much glued down. Okay, so I took some black washi tape and I'm trying to cover up and disguise that holidays and birthdays. So I am putting black washi on top of it and it's not my favorite washi because it is kind of rubbery and stretchy, but it's doing its purpose, which is covering up those dates and holidays up there so I can do that on top. I have quite a few things that I need to right down as far as events go and i'm just adding some zig pen to make sure that everything is sticking down so instead of notes and ideas we're gonna use just dates And I wish I centered this, but I didn't, so it is what it is. Okay, so I pulled my other planner with all of the dates that I need to remember, and I'm going to write these out. So I have the 6th, 8th, 10th. 22nd 20 so i wrote 24th but that needed to be 22nd so i'll write that in and then we have 23rd 24th twice 25th 26th one is my birthday but i want this on here and 25th And 29th and I'm just gonna write the event all of the birthdays that I have going on
I'm really excited for birthdays. I love birthdays, whether it's mine or somebody else's. I'm usually way more excited about people's birthdays than that they are about their own, which is pretty funny, but unfortunately, that's the truth. The 4th we have Independence Day and then the 31st will be my last day of work as I gave my notice. And I'm just trying to see if I should add any florals to this. But I think the florals from the scrapbook already do a great job and I don't want to bring any more florals because that's going to change the whole palette of the layout. So I'm going to grab the quotes book and see if there's any good quotes up there that I could use for the spread. I really like this I can and I will but it's not the right color scheme and I don't want to bring any foiling in because there is no foiling in the spread at least not in a big quote like that maybe on a clear backing I will feel differently but I'm not sure oh these are beautiful oh I like this but I don't know if the color works, but the quote is truly perfect for the time being. So, courage is grace under pressure, which I couldn't agree more. Okay, so that's my whole spread. I'm going to pop, pop this back into my planner. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!